Zipline Adventure. Hi, my name is Maggie Mead, and I'm an editor at Super Science. And this is a zipline. A zipline course is a series of cables stretched between tall towers. Riders hang from pulleys attached to the cables and zoom from tower to tower. And away we go! I wanted to learn how these wild rides are designed. So I visited a course called the Wild Zipline Safari in Ohio. I spoke to Larry Gerstner, the engineer who designed the course. And the coolest part? I got to ride the zipline too. Two of the course's guides taught our group how to ride the zipline safely. Then I was fitted with a safety harness, a helmet, and a pair of thick gloves. My guide hooked me up to a pulley system on the first cable. I took a deep breath and stepped off the platform. Zoom, off I went. When Larry designs a zipline course, he makes sure each tower is lower than the one before it. That creates a downward slope on each cable. Ziplines use the force of gravity to pull riders down the cables. So when you ride a zipline, gravity does all the work to speed you up. It's pretty exciting. I zipped past trees, over pastures, and over a large pond. I'd never ridden a zipline before, but I quickly got the hang of it. I realized I could control my speed by changing the position of my body. If I let my legs hang, I slowed down. That's because air pushing against a rider's body creates drag, a force that slows the rider down. This isn't me, but you get the idea. If I tucked my body into a ball, I sped up. Making my body smaller meant there was less space for air to push against me, less drag. Larry and his team adjust each cable carefully before anyone can ride one of their zip lines. They test each line to make sure riders go no more than 40 miles per hour. That's the zip line's sweet spot. It's a speed that's fun, but also safe. While I zipped, I had to watch my guides on the opposite platform to know when to brake. When they gave a signal, I had to push down on the cable above me with my gloved hand. The glove rubbing against the cable created friction. That friction helped slow me down. The Wild Zipline Safari is located on a wildlife preserve, so I was able to spot some animals while I zipped. I saw a group of giraffes, a goat-like animal called a Szechuan takin, an endangered species of wild horse, and a group of deer native to China. The Wild Zipline Safari covers more than a mile. By the end of the course, I was exhausted, but pretty pleased with myself. Who knew learning about engineering could be so much fun? <laughs> <laughs>